वन इन एवरी थ्री इंटरनेट यूजर इज अ चाइल्ड चिल्ड्रेन आर यूजली लेस लाइकली टू बी अवेयर ऑफ देयर राइट्स एज वेल एज सेफ गार्ड दैट शुड बी डिप्लॉयड वाइल शेयरिंग पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन इंटरनेट इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू एग्जामिन हाउ आर न्यू डेटा प्रोटेक्शन लॉ डील्स विद दिस सब्जेक्ट As far as protection of children's data goes, the current law really does not have any specific provisions dealing with it. That is set to change with the new data protection law coming into force, which has specific provisions dealing with processing of children's data. According to the new law, consent of the parent or legal guardian will be essential for processing data relating to children who are persons lesser than the age of 18 years or a person of disability. the manner and modality of this consent will have to be in accordance with the rules that will that the government will specify after the act is enacted there are restrictions relating to uh, tracking behavioral monitoring and targeted advertisement related to children on the other hand there can be certain exemptions that can be granted from these provisions for certain classes of data fiduciaries that may be that may be notified by the government in due course there are also avenues available for entities that demonstrate a verifiably safe manner of processing children's data in which case the age of 18 years may be lowered down by the government in certain cases all of these provisions in culmination will act as a strong uh, manner for uh, protecting the cause of children's data and will also and, and the penalty of up to inr 200 crores will definitely act as a strong deterrent as well as we saw verifiable consent should be taken before processing any data personal data of a child through notifications and rules the government will make it clear how this consent can be taken however looking at the global practices it should be ensured that the child is not able to fake it easily and it is properly verified that the person giving such consent is the parent or the guardian of the child data fiduciaries specifically in edtech and gaming sector should take note of these requirements